and the back starting with the motor we've got a 350 watt nominal uh, hub motor here in the back with 500 watts of peak power which brings this bike up to a top speed of 28 miles per hour with the cadence sensing pedal assist or with a throttle here on the right hand side. So 28 miles per hour is definitely pretty fast for a 350 watt motor. I was kind of surprised to see that in the specs here. Now here also in the back we've got the derailleur. It's going to be a Shimano Tourney derailleur, seven speed. And out of the box, um, I left it the way it was so I can show you guys. You can't really see it visually. Uh, you, can only, you can only feel it here in the, um, when you switch gears. But this derailleur does need to be adjusted a little bit. It's not twitching gears. Uh, it's only going from like first to third gear and it's not going any further. So if I wanted to, I can kind of tweak that here by adjusting the cable right here. Kind of just working with the derailleur. And again, for entry level bikes, you know, stuff that costs, you know, typically under a grand. Yeah, sometimes you got to kind of you got to kind of tinker with some of this stuff to get it to work just right. Um, and that's just kind of the name of the game. When you, when you buy something for under a grand, um, again, we're just going back to those entry level components. They're not bad. They're just sometimes they require a little bit more attention to get them to work as intended. So something else is kind of cool though, back here, you will see that this does have a steel derailleur cage over the derailleur, which is very nice. It's this piece right here just kind of helps protect the derailleur. If this bike does fall over on the right hand side, it helps this thing from getting crushed. So very cool stuff here. Also, we'll see this does have a plastic chainring guard right here, so it's not going to help protect the actual chainring chain ring teeth from strikes, but it will, it will help keep this chain from popping off towards the outside. So if you do get a derailment, the chain is not going to fly off. It's going to actually just at least pop off towards the inside, so that's kind of nice here. In the front of the Eohora XC100, this bike does come with front suspension here, maybe about I don't know, 80 millimeters of travel or so. This is gonna be a no-name, uh, non-branded suspension here. It's got the Eohora name on it. Uh, spring suspension, but it does a good job of just kind of smoothing out road noise. And if you're hopping off a curb or something like that, this is gonna really come in handy. This is gonna make the ride more enjoyable overall, but this is not a mountain bike by any stretch. This is definitely, you know, a commuter. Um, it's just not really meant for serious off-road stuff here. You'll see it does also have a front headlight which is nice. Um, you know, this is, gonna, this is a good headlight to increase visibility to help other people see you. It's not really gonna help you to illuminate your path that much. So uh, like we typically say, if you do want to ride this bike at night, you probably would recommend getting a aftermarket light, throwing it on your helmet, your handlebars, whatever, just something to throw out like at least a thousand lumens onto the road, right? Also, this is one of the first bikes we've seen in a while that is not a fat tire bike. So very, very cool, kind of getting back to basics here. Um, these are kind of thinner tires, about two inches, I believe. And these are, yes, the, the knobs, the, the tires are kind of knobby. They got little knobs on them here. But again, this is definitely, I just feel like this bike is kind of geared as a, a, a commuter bike, you know, for the city. On the other side, we've got the braking system. We're gonna have mechanical disc brakes. Again, I believe these are no name, um, uh, non-branded components here. 160 millimeters for the rotors front and rear, or rear <laughs> and front, I suppose. Dual, well, I guess it's not dual piston, actually, but yeah, mechanical disc brakes. The, the, the stopping power on this bike is actually, it's pretty good. Um, it's not bad, and, and uh, you know, look, mechanical disc brakes are not as good as hydraulic disc brakes, but now going up to the display, um, actually, let's go over here real quick. So for the uh, Shimano Tourney derailleur, and we got a Shimano SIS Index thumb shifter here. And uh, this is, again, entry-level component, not a big deal, but this is one other thing where if you were able to upgrade on your, on your own one other piece of equipment here on this bike, maybe it would be the, um, the thumb shifter here. It's not a bad component, but if you do find yourself switching gears a lot, you might want something where a trigger shifter, like it's down here, right? Just easier to shift. Now, as far as the actual display goes, um, this is the XC100, not the XC100 Pro. So uh, this is going to be the gray display, and it's it's a pretty, it's very visible. It's very easy to um, to see this display in broad daylight and direct sunlight. So very very cool. I like that. Now up in the top left hand corner here, we got the battery indicator, five bar battery indicator, 20% uh, increments, current speed, pedal assist level, and then a couple other details right here are going to be the the tripometer. You can switch here by, I think, tapping the, oh, come on, you can focus. It doesn't want to focus if there's the glare. There we go. Um, you can tap the power button. Or the, which one is it? One of the buttons here. There we go. No, that just turns it off. 
Okay, so to turn it on, it's a long press of the power button right here. And if you just press this power button once, it actually shuts it off. I think it's on this side right here. These are the buttons to kind of switch through the settings here. So let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, so that's changes, turns the lights. The bottom button turns the lights on and off. Okay, and the top button is going to switch from odometer to, let's see, max speed, average speed, amp hours, and tripometer. So that's how you kind of navigate the display there. And if, again, if you do want, for some reason, a color display, you can get that with the XC100 Pro. I don't know how much more it is, but really, I mean, you probably don't really need it unless just for some reason you, you really, really like uh, color displays. Uh, something else I do want to mention is that the wire management here is they, they've done a, a, a fair job here of trying to get all these wires to behave. Um, they've got them pretty nicely wrapped. Definitely props for that. They do, they are internally routed. They do feed into the down tube here and they go all the way down, spit out at the bottom bracket uh, and then go back to the motor there. This little piece is kind of not really in position, but that, that happens a lot with these. They just kind of come off. You just have to, again, just kind of finesse it back into place. Maybe get some silicone and uh, adhesive or something if you want to get it stick. But yeah, awesome piece. That's pretty much it here for the Eohor XC100. Pretty sweet little ride. I really like that it is such an affordable price point. I'm just, it's, it's really cool to see more and more companies starting to offer electric bikes at a much more reasonable price point for people who are just looking to maybe get into electric bikes, right? But maybe again, like you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a bike yet. You just want to kind of test it out or maybe you just can't afford that much. You can still use this as a commuter. You can get to work. You can go to the grocery store, do what you need to do with it, but for only $8.99, or if you do want to buy from Amazon, it's a hundred bucks less. So, uh, oh, and they also offer free shipping, by the way, which is really, really cool. So there's no hidden shipping fees. That's included in the price. There's no hidden fees for like the warranty. It's all included. Um, so really you're just paying for the bike itself. And um, like when you check out, that's like, we actually went through the process. We, you know, we clicked it, we went to the checkout, uh, did shipping. And then, you know, the, the total price was just $8.99 plus tax. So, all right, I think what we need to do now is take this beauty for a test ride. So here we go.
the suspension in the front just to absorb the bumps nothing professional as far as suspension goes it does have brake discs they are mechanical but they are pretty grippy so they I like this uh, brake discs quite a lot the uh, bicycle has a 250 watt motor in the back with a brake disc also Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get more videos like this.